Episcleritis Episcleritis is a common benign and self-limiting but recurrent disorder of the episcleral tissue, usually affecting the younger persons. When we talk about the etiology, the most common etiology is idiopathic. However, there may be association with these systemic diseases. Also, hypersensitivity reaction to endogenous tubercular or streptococcal toxins are also seen. The pathology the pathology of episcleritis demonstrates localized lymphocytic infiltration of the episcleral tissue that is associated with the edema and congestion of the overlying tenons capsule and the conjunctiva. Clinical features Unilateral localized redness associated with the mild discomfort and tenderness as well as watering is there. Simple episcleritis is usually sectoral and less symptomatic. Occasionally, it may be diffuse. Resolves spontaneously within 1 to 2 weeks. In the other hand, nodular episcleritis is a localized, raised and congested nodule. It can be better appreciated by the slit lamp examination. Treatment The observation in the case of less or asymptomatic condition is done. In the symptomatic cases, Mild lubricants or vasoconstrictors may be given. Also, corticosteroids or NSAID may also be given in the case. Scleritis Scleritis is a chronic inflammation of the sclera proper characterized by the edema and lymphocytic infiltration of the entire thickness of the sclera. It is more serious but less common than the episcleritis. When we come to the etiology, it is usually associated with the systemic conditions such as the autoimmune collagen disorders, metabolic disorders, some infections, granulomatous diseases, miscellaneous conditions, surgically induced and also can be idiopathic. When we come to the pathology, it is usually of the chronic granulation type. It consists of fibrinoid necrosis, destruction of the collagen together with the infiltration by the polymorphonuclear cells, lymphocyte, plasma cells, and the macrophages. Classification The scleritis can be classified as anterior scleritis and posterior scleritis. Anterior scleritis is common around 98%. On the anterior scleritis, there can be non-necrotizing and necrotizing. In case of the non-necrotizing, it is usually diffuse or nodular. In case of the necrotizing, it is with or without the inflammation. When we come to the clinical features, there is mild pain with localized or diffuse congestion of the anterior sclera and the overlying conjunctiva. This nodular type has more severe pain. There may be single or multiple nodules. In necrotizing type, or vascular patches of sclera develop and gets thinned out. Such areas may undergo acute perforation occasionally. They may be associated keratitis and iridocyclitis. In the type, without inflammation, extreme thinning of the sclera may occur and underlying uvea may bulge through it. The last variety which is also called scleromalacia perforans is painless. The posterior scleritis is not usually associated with these specific systemic diseases. It may produce uveal effusion syndrome, proptosis, and myositis of the extraocular muscles. Coming to the investigations, complete hemogram, serum uric acid, x-ray of the chest and the sacroiliac joint, MONTU test, VDRL, FTA ABS for syphilis, rheumatoid factor, anti-nuclear factors can be sent. Treatment Tablet indomethacine 100 mg for 4 days and then 75 mg daily until the inflammation results can be given. Oral corticosteroids around 60 to 80 mg should be given and should be tapered gradually. The topical steroids are also given particularly in case of the associated iridocyclitis. Atropine 1% eye ointment may be given in case of the associated uveitis. Immunosuppressive drugs may be given in severe and the unresponsive cases. Thank you. Please do like, 
Subscribe my channel and share this video.